Now welcome to Let's Talk Some Acolyte, where we're going to be discussing the first two episodes. They are called Lost and Found, as well as Revenge Justice. And usually we do this by reading and responding to some comments, but this time I think we're just going to have a discussion. A lot of comments on this tend to be very positive or very negative, so we're just going to have a discussion about it and we'll go from there. And as always, we begin with your uh, ever so brief, or maybe a little longer, review of this episode. I was going to say, it's not going to be brief. I wanted to talk. Well, yeah, I'm, I'm mainly giving the floor to you. I have made a couple of videos over on yeah. my channel. I have talked about it to death already. The thing that I find interesting is the title choices. I feel like all of the episodes are not going to have this duality to them. Lost and found, revenge, ver you know, injustice. Is this Dark supposed to light. represent yeah. the, of course, different points of view? I think it's, I mean, you duality is the right word. They're mm -hmm. kind of opposites, right? I think eventually we get to dark and light. My kind of... I feel like eventually we'll understand these titles better. I think by yeah, the time the show yeah. is over, we're going to understand the meaning of both sides of the titles better. Yeah, I'm, I'm trying to say I think dark and light. I think there's a very obvious path here that May is going to be the dark side version and Osha is going to be the light side version and there needs to be a, a balance between them. I'm not saying I like that or agree with that idea. I just think that's where the show is going. I almost feel like it's going to be the opposite, and Osha is going to be the, the bad one, and that May is going to be the good one. I could or, see that yeah. being the twist, because there there is a very interesting scene in the first mm -hmm. episode where they go and visit the, the crazy prisoner, and he basically accuses the Jedi killer, who he thinks is Osha, as having like this darkness around her, and then Soul kind of mind soothes him before he says any more. So it's like he sensed something around Osha that maybe he's force sensitive and um, it's supposed yeah. to be overlooked as this rambling crazy guy. Well, not only that, when the twins finally see each other at the end -ish of episode two, yeah. our assassin sees her sister and cries out for her. Like so excited to see her again. Like she's lit up. I feel like the justice is she's trying to get justice for her sister because she thinks, she thinks that Osha is dead. She yeah. sees her sister. She cries out in excitement and her sister looks at her. And goes ahead and shoots the stun ray. But misses at pretty close range, so... But was it intentional? Was it accidental? Was it because maybe the one that they saved was the one who actually started the fire? I mean, could this be the justice, I the revenge? So. Is this the twist that actually that one really is kind of more dark and dangerous? And I think Osha started the fire. Could they both be switching off at times as to which one is killing Jedi? We don't even know. Yeah, I don't know about that. I think I think everything in the present tense is as it's presented, if that makes sense. I think it's going to be everything in the past tense, everything that they kind of recall, that is going to be where the, the questions are, if we're just getting their perspective or if we're getting the actual facts. Moving into the characters more specifically, is in terms of the acting, it's kind of hilarious. I think that Amandala does a way better job being May than she does Osha. I think when she's May, I feel like she's really on point. The character feels genuine, feels real, especially that speech she gave to the suicidal Jedi. Yeah. We don't have to talk about him. He's enough problems. But I felt like she really had a lot of, like, depth to her character. Well, I think, I don't know about depth. I don't know that any of them feel like fully fleshed out characters. And, and sure, it's, it's two episodes. By two episodes, we should really start to get a grasp on who these people are, why mm. we should care about them. And I think that was one of my big problems. I don't really care about any of them. I think Soul is my favorite by a long shot. He's the only mm -hmm. one that seems to have any... Soul? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I guess. No, Lee Jun Jae has done phenomenal. I feel like his character is the most real. Yeah, he's, it's a Jedi. That, I, that feels it's like a Jedi. A Jedi. Yeah. He feels a lot like Qui-Gon. I know he was inspired a lot by Qui-Gon. Yeah. He's got the humanitarian side. Compassion. The empathy As for a Jedi people. Should. Yeah. yeah, it's so weird. Like, he... Always feels on point. When Amandala plays May, it feels like a real character. When she plays Osha, I feel like I feel like the whole thing feels fake. That's probably why I don't trust her character, honestly. Maybe it's intentional. Maybe Osha is. It could fake. be intentional. Dun dun dun. Uh, talking about some of the other characters, I feel sad that uh, Master Hindara was so short lived because what I did see of her, I enjoyed. I think we see her in flashbacks. But yeah. I, yeah, I believe we're going to see yeah. her some in flashbacks when we see what really happened. I hate when shows kind of advertise and feature a uh, certain actor, and then that actor is in it for like two minutes. I predicted when this started that she wasn't making it out of that first fight. Yeah, it kind of seemed like she might uh, die early. Mm -hmm. I mean, if she would have gotten stabbed with a lightsaber, though, she would have been fine. Yeah, that, that little knife <laughs> was the problem. Darn little knife. 
Well, Sith knife. I don't oh, know. Well, I mean, a knife to the heart should kill you, but... Yeah, maybe not quite as quick as that, but come on, it's a I know, TV she show. Did I, bend, of... I bend some rules for TV. It, it all depends on if you need them to say something before they die or not, or yeah, if it's yeah, more yeah. dramatic to die instantly or slow. That's that's what it all depends on, not any kind mm-hmm. of, like, anatomy or anything like that. Science. Moving on to the character of Vanestra Rowe. Oh, I don't like her. I don't think we're supposed to like her. I don't think we're supposed to like her, so it's not a problem with the actor or anything. I just feel like she's too much of a bureaucrat. Yeah. Which is... I there's suppose another, where the Jedi are heading towards the Republic. There's another word I could think to call her as well. Businesswoman. Mm, yeah. A banker. <laughs> no, you know what B-word I'm boss. talking about. Boss is along the right lines. <laughs> I know what you're trying to say. But yeah, she is definitely moving towards the more political yeah. side of the Jedi that we start seeing more and more of when you head towards the prequels. Yeah, she's very, uh, mm-hmm. cares about the image of the Jedi. Like, I can't get away. What if it got out that a bad one had killed a master? Oh, my mm-hmm. goodness. Our, our political enemies would well, have just a field like, day. Just like in The Wrong Jedi, they were so quick to convict Ahsoka because you can't let that drag out. The Jedi have to be quick and decisive and know what happened. Yeah, I kind of wanna... feel like this is obviously precursor heading into that. Yeah, I think it might be a little early for it. I, I don't like the idea that, like, 100 years, it feels like these are the same Jedi that we see in the prequels. Mm-hmm. Does that make sense? A little more subtlety would have been nice. I don't know. That's me. Uh, the character of Yord. I, I both like Yord and dislike Yord. But I think I'm supposed to. I think you're not supposed to like him. But I do like him. I just think he's playing it too stiff. Like he's, I think that's intentional. That, yeah, I yeah. think his, his whole Jedi persona is he's trying too hard. Yes. He well, really he wants to be the and... ideal Jedi. He wants to be recognized as a knight. And then Jackie comes along and she's like, Ah, oh, yeah, there's Yord. Ah. That's a good impersonation there. It is. I get so mad now that I look at these interviews with Daphne Keene and Jackie's so good and Jackie's so obedient and, and and Jackie's way better than Yord and Jackie's a team player. I'm like, she is not a team player. She is being very rude to someone on their team. She hasn't done anything yet. She made a suggestion that was good. Okay. Like, that I, was... I can make good suggestions too. Can but I she had it, but she only made that suggestion, I feel like, to one up Yord. Like I feel like her job in the show is to make Yord look bad. Yeah, I think that's intentional, though. I think Yord is supposed to look incompetent. I think that Which is, is sad, because he doesn't have to look incompetent. They just chose that he... I don't know. I don't know. But I still don't like Jackie. Okay. I'm putting that on the record. I still don't like Jackie. I don't trust Jackie. I, like, I don't think Jackie is uh, is the bad guy or anything No, like that. but I don't like Jackie. It's fine. And she could be the bad guy. <laughs> <laughs> um, And then we have the Secret Sith Society. Is that what we're calling them? <laughs> Yeah. A tongue twister? Triple S. Okay. Secret Sith Society. As long as it's not uh, SS, we're good. No, Triple S. Okay. For the Secret Sith Society. Okay. Where apparently acolytes, and there are multiple because I believe that uh, Manny Giancino's character, whose name I can't recall, who played the I'm not an apothecary, but I am, I think he's actually in the in the club. There are some who think he is the Sith, and I do no, not think so. I don't think he's the Sith. He doesn't. If he took the helmet off, and that's what he looked like. I, and no offense to the guy, but I'm like, ah. Eh. Well, I think he could pull off the stoic face if he really wanted to. You think so? He got a. He, I don't know. Maybe. Maybe he's playing. He's doing the acting. He's doing a Palpatine where he kind of comes. You know, Palpatine's the. Hey, if Luthen Rail can. And, switch well, Luthen, don't heartbeat. even. Let's. We don't compare saying. anything here to Andor. Stop that. <laughs> let's not do that. But I, I feel like he could be in on this too, and. All these acolytes, their job is to kill a Jedi without a weapon, which she's failing at miserably because every time she gets involved with a Jedi, she's immediately trying to take their weapon or use her weapons yeah. or make them commit suicide. Mm. <laughs> I'm sorry. I just, I don't want to talk about that character for good reasons. Yeah, we will leave that alone. I'm sure the video I will put out later today will discuss this topic. In depth? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Probably. Probably. Overall, aesthetically, I've been into the show. I think it looks pretty good. Yeah, it looks like all the other Disney Plus shows. I don't know that it looks anything fantastic. I think Andor is still the best looking one. And I'm well, not I, just saying I agree that, that I, I feel like Andor, Andor is the best looking. Yeah. I, feel like, I feel like it had like a real grit to it. Like a real, it just was, I don't know. Aesthetically, it's, it's, it's good. It's, it's fine. It's average. It's, it's average. It is it's what it's I've in the right vein. It is yeah. Star Wars. I love the fact that there are more aliens included and that That's aliens are speaking That's and win. having like roles. Andor what? didn't even manage that. Um, not exactly. No. Andor had like, what the the madam at the, uh, <laughs> at the also uh, the the one big guy. Um, yeah, who got to say like one word, and he's like, "You're gonna let him talk for you?" I guess so. So I do like the inclusion of more aliens that they're there, present. You can see them. They talk and move, and it's great. <laughs> they talk and move. Yes. 
No, I agree 100%. It is nice to see aliens in mm-hmm. Star Wars and having active roles. Yes. As for the story, I'm not sure I like this portrayal of the Jedi. I feel like sometimes she's coming off too harsh. Like, uh, in general, I think Leslie Hanlon doesn't seem to like the Jedi police force here. Well, it's funny you put it that way because that's the impression I get. It's a comparison to police Mm -hmm. and how police can maybe abuse their power. But at the same time, they haven't abused their power. Um, I would actually say Yord, incompetent Yord at one point when they board the Nemoidian ship or the Trade Federation Mm -hmm. or whatever it was. And he's like immediately like, tell me where the Jedi is. And they're like, well, uh," and he's like, I'm going to mind trick you or mind dominate you or whatever he was trying to do. But it's like, Mm -hmm. whoa, dude. Yeah, he was a... He was a little much. It's probably like his first mission out at the night or something. Well, it, it kind of it kind of gives me that vibe of like here's the undertrained, uh, hot headed. Right. Not, not that he's hot headed. I, I get, but you get that what he's I'm very upset. I mean, somebody killed a Jedi, and I think it's this person who I obviously used to know, and it's. And I it's get the hard. feeling he does that all the time. But yeah, yeah, I could see that a bit. Yeah. But I mean, I'm, I've seen comments like, "Why are the po- why do the the Jedi like throw her to the like police cr- their police cruiser?" I'm like, oh, "That's the Republic's police ship." prison ship that's not theirs i think they should escort her if, i think she should have been escorted by the jedi yes. absolutely like if she's think... a killer of jedi and you mix <laughs> her with you. gen pop yes. <laughs> well, look at you <laughs> you've been watching too many of them well, prison no. shows vanestra's like we have to keep this quiet you put her in gen pop where everyone's like hey look it's the jedi killer <laughs> you want that netflix show what was it the one where they did the experiment where oh, yeah, they let the them kind of take control days in or something no or not that one you watched that one too but the it was just on uh, Netflix where they let Unlocked? the inmates... Unlocked, yeah. yeah. Yeah, you're picking up the, the slang the, terms. The, the slang lingo. terms. Look at you yeah. go. No, but, but Nestor wanted to keep this quiet. She wanted this dealt with quickly. So why did you throw on this prison transport when everyone's like, hey, hey, that's the one that killed the Jedi. How do they even know? How do they know that she's the one who killed the Jedi? They wrote it on like her, her placard and set it up where we could see? I guess so. And then they find out that Twin might be alive and Nestor Souls like reluctant to even mention it. We're well, going the here, and they're like, why are we erased. going there? If it's not in the archives, it, it doesn't oh. exist either, so... So there were was, there was some story moments. Vanestra, way too concerned about the image of the Jedi instead of actually doing good, bothered me. The fact that she seems to be influencing others to do the same bothers me. It's uh, it's a rough day for the Jedi Order. Where's Yoda at? You gotta fix the ship. <laughs> Yoda's on sabbatical. Yoda's on sabbatical. Still. Oh. He's been on one for... Yoda's like, running... he's never actually done anything. Yoda's That's running the real for secret. the Senate. <laughs> Vote Yoda. <laughs> Yoda no, man. Yoda vote. <laughs> sorry, everybody. Oh, I'm Yoda, sorry. Yoda, you will. <laughs> huh. So I'm very interested because I, I like a nice mystery story. So far, they've done a decent job setting it up. I don't know the answers to the questions I have yet. Good. Though I have some really good guesses. Once well, you... you think they're good guesses. I don't I don't know. Hmm. I'm, I'm allowed to have my I'm messing with guesses. you. I think the titles will make more sense by the end. But we've got a... Six more episodes to figure out the story, the truth. Or, from a certain point of view, figure out what happened. Yeah. And then they'll like leave it as a cliffhanger and they'll be like, Haha, now we have to make season two. Because <laughs> the fans have to know what happened. Or not. Or we'll be okay. We'll be okay. We'll see. No, I, like I said, I, I thought it was I thought it was okay. Oh, and I hate Pip Droid. You mean by me because I'm going to be a... It's so stupid. Droid can't even walk around on its own. It's just like, it's like an oversized... Remember like you're, when you were a kid and you had to have like the big expensive the scientific walkman? calculator? Oh, I, I thought you were going to call <laughs> See, I thought it looked like Soundwave from Transformers. That was... I don't... I don't... I'm... I mean, if, give me, if you're going to give me a cute... If you're going to give me a cute droid, give me a cute droid, not a, I don't know, Swiss Sound Army wave. droid. He looks like a, a cassette, like an old... Swiss Army droid. Yeah, he does I have multiple I rip his head off functions. and it's a screwdriver. Now I, I <laughs> face it this his... way and it's a little... It's a fire extinguisher. Well, it's kind of, it kind of makes sense. I'm not saying it's a bad concept. Where did he put the stuff that, where does he keep all of, like, the fluid for the fire extinguishing that she was doing? Um, He's very small. You ask too many questions. I'm just saying. It doesn't you... have to be a, a droid. And then, and then what else is shady? Is Osha's like, oh, I'm just, I know why you guys just arrested me and stuff because you think I killed a Jedi, so I'm just going to sink my droid up to your ship. So I can monitor, like, fuel levels and how the ship's doing, tap into communications. Mm. That's shady. It is shady. The fact that she did sneak off and she got to the suicidal master before everybody else did. Why do we keep calling him that? Because I can't remember his name right now. <laughs> Floaty Man? Floaty Man. I think the I like suicidal she's like, master better. Oh, I feel like I feel my sister immediately turned off and got there where way the before other, them. Where, where did, did they go? They, they took a detour? Did we think somebody might be targeting him. 
Show us the long way round. Master Soul, it, it was a long trip. He's he's an older gentleman. He had to use the bathroom or something. And then you was like, old. I'm kidding. Well, I followed her. She didn't do anything. <laughs> like, you well, could have played Yorn. I know. I'm just that good at being uh, a Jedi. <laughs> I did like that. They Let just took the long my way. Robes. He might be in danger. Take us the long way. <laughs> How, yeah, I don't know how they um, didn't was, know where he, like, did they not know he was? Because he seems to be floating, like in, floating in the one room for Does years. Does he, like, float from room to room? I think he's He was in the same room he was in today. last night. Yeah. Like, yeah, with the ceiling open, because he likes to get rained on or something. I don't know I, what's I, going I, on. I don't know. It's easier for assassins. They don't have to worry about sneaking in the front door so often. <laughs> Yeah, Anyone nobody can caring. break into a Jedi base. Yeah, anybody's welcome in the Jedi we have Temple. A, we have a special door guard, but we leave this, the uh, ceiling open. All right, I think we've I think we've done enough damage. I think we have. Here. I, I don't know. You've... I still say that I'm enjoying it. I'm still okay. along for the ride. I I'm just talking out. about it. I haven't checked out, but I think episode three something needs to happen to really like hook me and grab me because mm-hmm. I'm just kind of like eh, it's fine, it's all right. Yeah. So I don't want people to go, oh, you're hating it. I don't hate it. I just uh. I don't like it. No, I just no. <laughs> just, I'm messing with you. I can overlook. I can overlook any sort of like uh, not acting as great as I feel like they should, or things are being being exactly the way I want. As long as they don't break canon, like shatter canon, and the story is enjoyable, it makes sense. I mean, it should be great, yeah. right? We Star Wars should be held to a standard. I I fully believe that. Like Star Wars should be good. It should make good Star Wars. It shouldn't just be like, oh, it wasn't bad. But I get what you're saying. Mm. We've lowered our standards. Like, if it doesn't suck, it's good. But anyway, I think that's going to be all we got for you this time. Now it is your turn. Take to the comments below. Tell us what you think of the Acolyte thus far. And let's talk some Star Wars. And so, until next time, thanks for watching.